Hello, President Jefferson. It is a pleasure to be speaking with you this morning. As lieutenant of this group, I am proud to say that our expedition was successful. Thank you for staying patient with our team of people. I will now usher in a hard-working gentleman. Hello, President Jefferson. I am head of supplies during our trip, and I'm here to report on what we brought with us for future expeditions of this sort. For navigation purposes, we brought compasses along with a sextant. We brought 150 yards of cloth for sewing into tents, along with 10 and a half pounds of fishing gear, and many flints and steels for making fire. For the natives, we brought an assortment of beads along with 130 rolls of tobacco. As far as clothing, we rang 45 flannel shirts along with many pairs of woolen socks and pants. We brought 15 muskets, 420 pounds of bullets, and 176 pounds of gunpowder. We brought syringes, turn and many assorted painkillers and fever pills. We also brought a map of the Mississippi and several tables for determining longitude and latitude. Hey! Hey, kid! Get out of here! Oh, oh okay. Bye. My name is Neil Browns. I was the head biologist on this mission. One of the first animals we found was the bison. It's a large brownish grazing animal. Both the males and females have curling horns of up to two feet in length. If aggravated, they will charge, trampling whatever gets in their way. The next animal is the grizzly bear. It's a bear much larger than the black bear found in Pennsylvania. They will normally not attack people. However, if you find a mother with its cubs, or if you get too close, they will eat you. The next animal we found was the blue catfish. It is a bluish bottom feeding fish with no teeth. Rather, it has a crusher that feels sort of like sandpaper. It tastes very good. One of the plants we found was called a salmon berry. It is a berry similar to a raspberry. It grows near wetlands and streams. It has pinkish flowers which are followed by early fruits. And now I'll hand it over to our cartographer, Clark. Thanks, Neil. I, as Neil said, am the cartographer. My job as the cartographer was to make a map of the land that we purchased. We started in St. Louis on May 14, 1804. A few months later, we were crossing the Continental Divide on August 12, 1805. If you were wondering, the Continental Divide is a mountainous line that goes through North America. As you can imagine, getting past this obstacle was quite challenging. It took many days and we lost good men, but it was well worth it. We arrived at the Pacific Ocean on November 15, 1805, and we made our way back to St. Louis on September 23, 1806. Finally, on November of 1804, we found a girl named Sacagawea, and she offered to help us on our journey. She proved to be a valuable part of our team. On this expedition, we encountered many Native American tribes. One tribe in particular, the Hidasta, ended up being very important. They gave us valuable information about tribes we would come into contact with later. There, we met a woman who had been captured by the Hidasta early in life, named Sacagawea, who agreed to join our team with her child and husband. These two people were very valuable assets. They served as translators when speaking to other tribes. We also met one tribe, known as the Shoshone. I had been hoping that there may be water passage westward of the Shoshone, but their chief assured us that the only way to get through was to journey over the mountains. After speaking with the tribe, Sacagawea concluded that the Shoshone general was in fact her brother, that she had been taken away from so many years ago. Because of this, the Shoshone chief provided us with the horses we needed to cross over the mountains. He also provided us with guides on how to get around. Once we crossed over the mountains, we were greeted by a friendly tribe known as the Nez Perce. They provided us with plenty of food and exchange for guns and ammunition. They explained that they needed these things to compete with a warring tribe that we had come into contact with earlier, known as the Blackfeet. We provided these for them, as the Blackfeet had actually threatened us earlier on in the expedition. Mr. Jefferson, I believe the expedition was a complete success. With the scientific, geographic, and civil information we have gathered, I believe we can start expanding to the West. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Neil. I, as Neil said, am the cartographer. My job as a cartographer was to make a map of the land that we purchased. We started in St. Louis on May 14th, 1804. A few months later, we were crossing the Continental Divide on August 12th, 1805. We were wondering the Continental Divide is a mountainous line that goes through North America. As you can imagine, getting past this obstacle was quite challenging. 
It took many days and we lost good men, but it was well worth it. We arrived at the Pacific Ocean and in our... Oh my gosh! Now listen to the spinning of my fidget spinner. <laughs> 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 Can you do that again? Nope. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I know you're gonna put it in the blue. <laughs> okay, so what would somebody say? And oh, sir, there was a girl named Sakakawi. Uh, Sakagawawio. <laughs>